names, more specifically country names. Every country is called something other than its flag or national anthem. It's the main way to identify a nation by what we call it. But countries aren't called the same thing everywhere and sometimes they vary with language. What I'm talking about is the difference between an exonym and an endonym. An endonym, from the Greek endon, meaning inner, and onoma, meaning name, is a native name for a geographical place, meaning that it is used inside that place by its people, while an exonym, from the Greek exo, meaning outer, and onoma, also meaning name, is a non-native name for that same place, meaning that it is only used outside of it by people that don't live there. Each country has at least one endonym, it has to call itself something, but it can have various exonyms throughout the world. For instance, Deutschland is the endonym for the country that is also known by the exonym Germany in English and Allemagne in French. Exonyms aren't just translations of the native name into another language. While they can be that, they can also be fully different names that a particular people of the world have for that nation. The reason for the difference between the endonyms and the various exonyms are usually one of three. It can be derived from a different root, as is the case with Germany and Deutschland. They can be equivalent words, only different in pronunciation or orthography. Ethiopia is an example of this, with the endonym being Ethiopia, and those that are fully or partially translated from the native language because of an inability of pronouncing the native endonym. So now that we've become aware that this is a reality, countries being known differently throughout the world, and now that we've understood what endonyms and exonyms are, plus the difference between them, let's look at a few examples of these differences throughout the world, learning which countries are known by different names, why that is, and what they mean. There is a really cool website that summarizes this whole topic, endonymmap.com, all credit to them for going through the effort of making this. In it, we can take a look at this really cool map, which identifies each country with the name it calls itself, its endonym. However, some are not understandable to someone from Europe or America, unless you happen to speak Arabic, Russian, or some of the many Asian languages. Which brings about another interesting aspect of this topic. Which languages are used for countries' endonyms? Most countries have their own language, and so their name for themselves is written in that language, like Turkey using Turkish, or Portugal using Portuguese. But going from Portugal's example, Portuguese is also used as the endonym language in many other countries worldwide, a consequence of their colonialism. And this happens as well, mostly with English, French, and Spanish. Portuguese is used in the endonyms of 8 countries, Spanish by 20 countries, mostly in America, French by 24 countries, slash territories worldwide, some in this count include French overseas territories, and English is used in the endonyms of 60 countries or territories worldwide, by far the most used language. And then there are also other examples of languages used in not many but more than one country endonym, such as Romanian, used by Romanian and Moldova, and Russian, used by Russia, Belarus, and Transnistria. But like I mentioned, this map is in the native languages, in most cases becoming ununderstandable when you don't know every language in the world. So in addition, I found this other map made by Reddit user Crimea Hat, which takes countries' endonyms and then directly translates them into English, which is a good exercise because it allows us to understand, as I mentioned earlier, that exonyms, the names we call countries, aren't always just a direct translation of their endonyms. Egypt's endonym is this, in Arabic, and in English it's Egypt, but if you directly translate its endonym to English, it is Mizr. Mizr is an Arabic name, simply meaning country, while Egypt comes from the Greek Egyptos, which was the Greek pronunciation of the ancient Egyptian name Utkapta, mansion of the spirit Ptah. I'm gonna mispronounce a lot of things in this video. The Greek exonym for Egypt at the time was just a direct translation of its endonym, but while the endonym changed in the meantime, the exonym remained the same. Most of the countries whose endonym language is a Latin language are essentially the same in other Latin exonyms, being just a literal translation. One example is the Caribbean island shared by between France and the Netherlands, Saint Martin, Saint Martin. As we see in this map, the direct translation of endonyms is essentially the same throughout America as the exonyms in English are. But as we get to Europe, this changes. Despite all the nations using Latin scripts, Finland's endonym is Suomi, Ireland's is Eid, 
Switzerland is Elvetia, Greece, Elas, and Albania, Schickpedia, as well as the first example we gave of Germany being Deutschland. Oh, and Hungary, whose endonym is Magyar Rorzag? Germany comes from Germania, land of the Germani, an ancient tribe of the area named by Julius Caesar, while Deutschland comes from the Old High German Diustik, which means of the people, essentially land of the people. Finland equals land of the Finns, while Suomi just means land. Elvetia refers to an ancient local tribe, while Switzerland means land of the Swiss. Greece was the Roman Latin name for Elas, the Greek name of the territory. Schikperia is derived from the word Schiptoi, meaning to speak intelligibly, I think, while Albania is the medieval Latin name of the country, which may be derived from the Illyrian tribe of the Albani. Armenia's is Ayastan, and Georgia, Sakartvelo. Georgia after St. George, or some people say it has another Russian origin, and Sakartvelo is the native term for land of the Kartvelians, which I imagine were a local people. In Africa, the direct translation of endonyms mostly corresponds to the English exonyms due to the colonization of European powers of these countries. The only exceptions seem to be Egypt, as we already saw. Algeria is Al Jazair, a similar word to Algeria but in the original Arabic. Morocco is Maghrib, an Arabic term literally meaning place of the setting of the sun, while the Latin word Morocco comes from the capital of Marrakesh. It's interesting because Maghreb in some European countries is used to describe an entire region in addition to Morocco and not just the country. Also, as we'll see ahead, Japan's endonym means land of the rising sun. It's interesting that Morocco's endonym is precisely the opposite. All other African nations seem to have their endonyms being the same as their exonyms in English, the only difference being in the spelling and pronunciation being done in the native languages. In Asia, most are also just native versions of the English exonyms, with the exceptions of China, whose endonym is Zongguo, meaning the central state in the native language, while China seems to come from the Persian word for the region. Bhutan's native name is Drukyul, which literally means country of the Drukpalig lineage or the land of the thunder dragon, a much cooler name, honestly. North Korea is called Choson, which apparently literally means North Korea in the local language, while South Korea calls itself Anguk, the Great Han Republic. Japan, as I mentioned earlier, is internally called Nihon, meaning origin of the sun. And India is Bharat, which originates from the Sanskrit word Bharata, which stands for Agni, meaning fire, while India comes from the name of the river Sindhu that has been used in Greek since the 5th century BC. It becomes further evident that many of the current English exonyms come from ancient Greek, perhaps due to the fact that many ancient maps were made by the Greeks and place names in these maps were of course chosen by them. In Oceania, there don't seem to be any major differences between endonyms and exonyms in English, with them being the same at times translated to the local language. New Zealand is identified as Aotearoa, which is the native name for New Zealand by the native Maori people. One literal translation seems to be long white cloud or long canoe, while New Zealand might come from the Dutch province of Zealand. If you notice any mistakes in what I'm saying, please let me know in the comments. Sometimes I might have the wrong information. So in summary, when we directly translated endonyms into English, there are very few countries throughout the world with endonyms that have different meanings than their English exonyms, with most of them just being direct translations with just small changes in spelling and pronunciation. From my rough count through this map, there are only about 17 countries worldwide whose endonyms are fully different words than their English exonyms not just a translation or adaptation. There are also cases of countries who have requested other countries to stop using exonyms when referring to them using the native name in the local language. Two examples of this are Côte d'Ivoire in Africa, which has requested countries use the French name instead of always translating the words into other languages, creating names like Ivory Coast or Costa do Marfim. Cabo Verde did the same, asking for the Portuguese endonym to be used instead of its exonyms, such as Cape Verde. And examples of countries which had endonyms that were a consequence of European colonization and then chose to change them, effectively changing the name of their countries. For instance, in 1972, the government of then Ceylon, which is the anglicized form of the Portuguese Ceylon, changed the name to Sri Lanka, and Swaziland changed its name to Iswatini, the same meaning, land of the Swazis, but in native language. So, those are the names we call countries 
versus the names they call themselves. Understanding what endonyms and exonyms are, the internal names of countries and the names other countries call those same places respectively. And learning that exonyms aren't always direct translations of endonyms into another language, but whole other names altogether varying in their origin. Although it's important to note that the comparison we did between endonyms and exonyms in this video was made using the direct translation of them into English. The cases we saw here might not be common to all other languages and their exonyms for nations throughout the world. Having a video which listed out and compared all the exonyms and endonyms that each country has for all the countries worldwide would not only be too long but also I think too dense and specific to be interesting. Although there are some specific interesting cases like Norway being the only European country that refers to Greece by Ellis. So if you have any interesting information about how a specific country calls another let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching this video, subscribe if you want, and I will see you next time for more general knowledge.